Hi, Data Gashes here about Guru.net, and I'm here to show you the UBot HTML Editor and Designer. Once you've opened it up, installed it, and entered your license details, under File, you have two different options Create HTML and Load HTML. First, we're going to explain Create HTML. When you create HTML, you're going to choose a number of rows that you want to insert images buttons, form elements, and in this case we're going to go ahead and use four, and the number of columns we're going to use two. For the foreground, I'm going to use a kind of cream color, and we'll use a blue for the background. Let's go ahead and click create. Now, you, instead of the background color, you can choose an image if you like as well, and by doing so, it asks you for the URL to the image and you can click preview to preview the image and click OK. So we're just going to use a color for the background right now. So here we go. And in this first column we're going to use name. Now notice the name is kind of blending to the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that with font after highlighting it. Click here to change the font color, and we'll just choose black, click apply. Here we'll use email, again same thing, just click font, choose your color, hit apply. Over here we're going to insert a text box, another one here, and right here we'll go ahead and put a button. Now notice it does not show up over here in the tree yet on the left hand side and it won't until you hit this button right here. That refreshes the HTML and allows you to be able to choose the attributes that we just inserted. So we're going to go ahead and click on the first one here which is this box and we're going to just change these attributes name and if you don't want a default value go ahead and just remove it or you can be a little bit informative enter your name. There we go. Up here at the top under standard you can choose what variable to set. We'll just call this one name. Click fill with and we're going to use value for the inserted value. Go over to our next input here. This is going to be email. Enter your email. Again, variable, email, fill with, value, and if you wanted to use a custom one, you could put it in here, such as, like, maybe you want a name attribute. Well, put that here in its value, or anything you want to, really. So this allows for all of those to be uh, attached, and we have some other ones that we're going to be working on adding in there as well. For the button, click on button down here. We've got the ID. So what we're going to say is uh, submit. And for this, we want a on click. So on click, we want it to do something. And with buttons, now mind you, we're going to have an option in here that will automatically insert the uh, UBOT run script. But right now, you just type in UBOT dot run script, parentheses, there we go, and we're going to call our define command here, and what I'm going to use is just defined command for the name of the define command in UBOT. Put our parentheses, close this off, and hit add attribute. That adds the on-click attribute to that button. Now, since all that's been done, all we got to do is refresh. Now, if we'd like, we can look at code view here. And here's our button name. So we're going to say, run the command. Go back to the design view. We see it's been changed. Here's all our stuff. Now, we can go ahead and export this as HTML or as UBOT HTML. Either way is fine. I prefer to use as HTML, then just copy and paste it in there. 
or you can go right here to code view copy all this open up ubot and we're going to use UI HTML panel paste our code right in there and we'll just call this uh, 300 pixels so here it is right here if you want to get rid of that border all you got to do here's border 0 here's our color just go ahead and remove the color click OK oh, there we go right there border 1 delete that put 0 there we go borders removed kinda looks a little plain but it is what it is so let's go ahead and add in our define command that we had set up just for testing purposes here and we called this defined command so defined command and we'll just put a simple alert in there button is working so when we hit the run command there we go it executed that command without any problems in here let's go ahead and take a look at our debugger and we see here's our default values so if I was to change these and there we go we see it's updating our variables perfectly so the next thing we want to do is we want to use a existing design so what we're going to do is we're going to load HTML and this is in case you have someone design a uh, UI for you and it's already cut up to HTML go ahead click on the HTML file that you want to import click open and here we've got our design now this is a CSS design it's got JavaScript it's got drop downs it's got all this wonderful stuff so what we're going to do now is go through this and add our variables that's needed so the first one right here we've got username so we're going to add variable username now you could call it user you could call it whatever you'd like and we're going to fill that with value then we're going to go to our next one here this happens to be password password and the fill with is going to be value go to our next one here this is password 2 so we're going to go password 2 fill with value next one is first name fill with value next input last name just keep moving right on down the line here so our next input is the gender so we're going to say variable gender fill with value this one here same thing variable gender fill with value go down here to the next one so we've got our selection for day and we're going to say day for the value fill with value go down to our next selector this happens to be months fill with value go to our next one here year and then we've got our last input which happens to be email email 
and then our button at the very end. So we're going to go on click ubot dot run dot or I'm sorry ubot run script submit data there we go close that off and there's our run script so everything's been updated gonna click refresh we can go here to our code view press control A to select all and control C go back here into UBOT we'll go with UI HTML panel there we go and we'll go with say 750 so here it is right here and because I previously had value set, let's go ahead just clear those out. So here's all our different inputs. We see here from our debugger, nothing's been set yet. So let's put our username. I'll just put lowrider tj. Password. You would enter those in, your first name, your genders, and everything else. And then we go ahead and fill those to your variables. So, as you see, it can uh, be very easy to set these up uh, and work exactly as needed and works very quickly. So, I hope you like this video, and if you have any questions, do feel free to ask. Thank you.